morning at Lakeland TV, and I'm Dave Collins with Paint Along Studios. So let's paint a rooster. Here's how you do it. First off, uh, uh, and, and I think this is where you're going to see it best, is on this screen, but we'll find out, okay? Take a couple big globs of white and put a little tiny. You see how my brush is only touching the very edge. And I'm going to put just a little tiny bit a blue in with some of that and I'm looking for a real light blue background so you can see how little I put in there and how light that color is and somewhere in that range add or subtract white and then come over here and uh, this is the halfway point we're below halfway with this upper half, so drop it about two inches and put a mark there. Same thing. Come down. Here's the halfway mark. We're going to drop about two inches, and then just take this and go across there like that, and then start just painting in random areas like this you're always everything is connected well I'm I'm uh, I'm ha experiencing equipment failure here let me check this and uh, see what we can do you can still paint you don't have to wait for me Okay, there we go. So I, I'm now just painting. And the blue is primarily, if you look at it here, is, is kind of to the bottom and around here. And then there's some other colors there. But it won't matter whether we get all blue or not. You want to fill all of the canvas. That's why the scrubbing action Very soon we will be having live music. Um, not tonight. I apologize for that. But uh, when you're live streaming, of course, you cannot play copyrighted music without paying for it. So we're going to try to create a way that young artists are able to premiere their music and so forth um, here and so we'll have live music and or their music that's taped and we have permission to use so sorry for the uh, very calm quiet evening instead of the music that we're accustomed to now you see how some of this doesn't really have any I'm taking my brush and I'm just going to put I'm just going to kind of mess some up in here I don't really want any of it I just want shades of it now now I'm going to touch and you look at the look at the uh, um, screen there to see the yellow see how very little of it I'm getting by touching the plate first and then putting just the end of the brush in the yellow that's how you get the color and keep it from being contaminated so you pick up a little color like that stick it in there with that blue that you had on your plate and it starts making kind of a green color and that's what that top is now start blending that color back into some of the blue so you're going in in and out of the color and it can have more yellow or less yellow
See how that, when I put it on there, is a little yellower than to start with? What is this uh, supposed to represent? What is this back here supposed to look like? S sky, but, you know, almost nothingness. You know what I mean? It's like it could be sky. It could be bushes back there. It could be most anything. I'm touching a little bit of blue along with that so that I'm varying the color a little bit. And you see here now I stuck some more of that green color back in where some of the blue was. See? So, so it, you're just creating a montage of organic shapes. Pick up a little bit more white, maybe a little bit more yellow. You see how small amounts of paint that I'm using? I spread it out, but there's very little of it right there. And in the same spot, created all those colors. So it means that I'm almost empty before I start. But then you change colors very quickly. Just like that. Now that's back to a blue because there's such a small amount there. You can add small incremental uh, areas of a darker blue if you like. Go in here and Darken it up just a little bit here and there. Add some dimension. I'm going to clean my brush because I want to add a little bit of white. So I'm going to clean my brush by banging it up and down. I'm going to take a couple pieces of paper towel and wad that up in a ball and put my brush head in there and use that as an extractor. Just extract all of the all of that out. I'm going to take little bits of white in my brush and just lighten some area. I'm going to bring some light into the top of this just a little bit. Got a particular color in the room where you want to use this? Anybody? You know? Because, I mean, you know, this is a good kitchen painting. What, what color is the kitchen? You know? Well, the red uh, works. There's every color there that'll work with red. So that's the uh, illusion of maybe a little bit of cloud there. But you're, you're not trying to make any specific thing. Now, I would go ahead and do the outside edges of my canvas. Uh, and the top along there so that if you decide not to frame it, you know, you can, it'll already be painted on the outside edges. And I'm going to walk around now and, and um, see what some of your canvases are doing. How you doing? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing yeah, good. Good. You're, you're, you're doing good. In your uh, case here, you're creating some directional things. It's the okay. wind. Oh, it's the wind. Yeah. I, I just uh, yeah. So that's the thing. The wind's blowing that way. 
But in the event you ever decided you wanted to change the direction of the wind to something that was more neutral, you could go like this back through those shapes and they go away altogether if you go the other direction. Yeah. So you can kind of go the other direction. You're doing good. All your colors, I love your colors. Um, these shapes, mm -hmm. I yeah. think if you just brush. take your brush and go the, no matter what color you have okay. in your and brush, and just kind of okay. go the other way with some of them. Now, obviously, if you're up here where it's light, you're going to want to put, mm -hmm. you know, some white yeah. or, yeah. or what okay. light in the brush. So just go, but you've got that shape. So to make that shape go away, all you do is counter that shape with another shape. Okay. And it's just like, you know, it always works. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing good. You've got a, a, a hill here, which is fine. You know, as a, you know, it probably, you know, down here, because I think this was your halfway point there and you were, two inches below it on one side and not on the other. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't your forte? You weren't studied to be, uh, you didn't study to be a math major with a, oh, uh, oh, so measuring is a, I, I, I would go a little lower here also. Because this is about where half, and that's where you kind of need to be. So, otherwise, it's going to be. <laughs> so, you can just bring any of that color. You see uh, how I'm using my brush? But the minute I run out of paint, you just go back and. Yeah, you just blend it back and forth, like just like that. It's just this. Okay. I think yours could go a little lower too. Why don't you bring yours down a little bit lower? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and. Um, start working uh, at the tones for this brown in the bottom. We won't put in all the shadows and darker tones until we've got the bird um, standing. Then we'll put some of the darker things in. But to start with, um, you, you have uh, on your uh, plate something in the area of a, a blue or green blue or something, all right? So look at uh, my palette here. I've already got blue there, right? So I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to pick up white. And it's a, I'm going to start by making a brown that is not pure. It needs to have a little bit of blue in it to darken it a bit so after you and you can only tell what color it is if you start putting it on the canvas and then you can judge it how dark it is or anything but what I don't want to do is make it all the same so you see here I've changed and added just a little bit more brown and my stroke now has changed to being that, um, being horizontal. All my strokes are now horizontal. I'm trying to give us an impression that things are laying down. So I want everything to go horizontal. So watch the colors change a little bit as I put them on, picking up a, little red with less blue in it, you'll get a pinker color.
if you pick up more blue and more brown with less white in it, you'll get a dark brown or shades of gray in that case because I went too far with my blue. But watch here. I'm going to put some of that on there. I'm going to pick up some white, go right back in, soften that, pick up a little bit of brown, and it just moves around. You're just putting, putting layers of different colors together to make it look like the earth, the ground. It's not, when you look down, it's not one color. The ground is many colors. So you just keep working your brush left to right. See, it's a, it, sometimes it's not about, um, how you hold your brush as much as it is what you create with the end of it. I hold mine very close. Can you see how close I'm holding it to the end? All right. But I could accomplish the same thing further out. It would just be more effort for me if I went out here, held my brush out here. I could go out here and do that, and if I wanted to stand further away from the canvas, I could do that. But I would start losing some control um, by being further away from it. I gain my control by being very close to the, um, to the tip when I'm holding it. I can make it move instantly a different direction that way. I'm picking up a little bit of yellow. I already had some blues in there. Look at this. It's just kind of a, a green color. You know what that green's for? It's, it's to help counter the very little bit of red we have over here. So, I mean, this is clearly becomes the focal point of the painting is head simply because it's the only thing red. So we're going to give it some greens here, and it'll help soften that just a little bit. Did you see that uh, the puppy was with me tonight? Yeah, he, he, uh, he's not quite sure what, uh, what he's doing here. You know, because he's been uh, uh, quite a while at the other location. So, it's kind of hard for him, I think. And he was used to that window. He liked going up there in the window and sitting out watching everybody go by. But he's here. Now, this line here uh, is too perfect for my liking. So I'm going to take some of the ground color and just kind of bring it up here. See that? See how I just messed that line up? Now it's not a specific place. So it's kind of just become... So let me uh, let's let's uh, take another look around, see how everybody's doing. Hmm. <coughs> what does hmm <coughs> mean? You're you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Um, if you'll um, use shorter strokes and less paint. Okay. So that when you when you 
when, uh, so that a color doesn't go the whole distance because you want it to look broken up. Mm -hmm. So if you go You see how it breaks it up? Mm -hmm. Shorter strokes. Now this is going to be a little different color. But it's still in that dirt range. You see how it starts changing? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do is work on the change. Same thing. Maybe a couple darker colors you like. Like, so if we took a little bit of blue and put with that color that you had there, right. we'd get kind of a gray that's neither here nor there. Okay. Now you see how I have very little of it in my brush. I'm going to sit your canvas, by the way, right here on the edge, so that you can get that bottom edge there. But then again, take your paintbrush and just go. In not any specific place, but it kind of, you see how it just kind of changes mm -hmm. that? Yep. Yeah. Then here you want to destroy this line. Okay. This was something like that. Doesn't. Yeah. Well, I caught you ladies painting your bottoms over here. You know, <laughs> you just don't expect it. That's all I can say. When you turn around in the class and you see ladies painting their bottoms, you know. <laughs> You're sorry for what? You shouldn't be sorry for anything. That, that's all right. Now, um, see, I'm sitting it out there on the edge. Okay. Now, now watch how I watch how I do this. Okay, I am going to pick up brown. Okay, I'm going to go on there, but I'm going to go in short strokes. Okay. See how that's. Well, it could be lighter, you know, I mean, it can. And so you just start, but don't try to change it to all the same color. Just keep varying the, and stay away from that green. Okay. That green is, we haven't, we haven't even talked about that green yet. Blue and yellow, we, you stay away from that green. That green will get you in trouble. Oh, it is. Yeah. Mess it up. First off, I'd put it this way so I could think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So doesn't matter what, you know, you, you have a brown in there. Okay. So just go along here. You see how that just. All right. Less paint in your brush. Yeah. See, I, I use, see ha this is how little I have in my brush. So I always. Okay. And that's the way I want my brush to look. Okay. It's kind of messy on the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that I can use little strokes. You, you went back to doing the same line. thing, <laughs> you're making a line. See, what you want to do is oh, not <laughs> make a line. Okay, <laughs> that's good. You're good. All right, we're gonna put we're gonna put some other colors in here, but we're not gonna do it till the bird is there. Uh, so go ahead and spend a couple of more minutes working on your sides and uh, paint your bottoms. Paint your bottoms, yeah.
actually, um, I, I, I'm looking forward to um, the, the time that I fill this whole class with, and we can put 48 seats in here, we determined. So with 48 people, and then they all be women, okay? And uh, then you... <laughs> Then you take your paint like this, you know, like this when we start our class. And he, I, I just want to make this statement. <laughs> Ladies, take your tops off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just something about being able to say that in front of 48 women is, you know, interesting anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's kind of like painting your bottoms, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So, let's stick that brush in the water. Just stick it in the stick it in the water. Uh, can you see the the lines on the uh, painting that look like chicken wire? That's because that's what it was supposed to look like, is chicken wire, right? But um, it isn't like it's right up close. It's like it's far away. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're randomly dispersed, and you can always look at it up closer here. But uh, I'm going to show you the shape and what they're done in here with is kind of a um, gray color because that's kind of what it looks like, almost like a, a gray fence, you know, ch that chicken wire, like it's galvanized, I think is what it is. So it's kind of silver-like. So um, I've got my little blue brush, and uh, what I'm going to do is pick up some brown and then an equal amount of blue and then I'm going to put white in it and at the point where the brown and blue are the same level it turns gray And that is the color of gray that naturally occurring gray is. So you've got a gray there created just by putting brown and um, blue together and adding white. Did you find... Did you find it? It'll start out being a charcoal gray, and then it becomes a lighter gray as you add white to it. All right, so we've got that gray color, and I'm going to just give the impression. One thing I don't want to do is paint chicken wire on the whole back of this painting. I just want to give the impression of chicken wire. So it goes something like this. It has a has a, a line and then one will be going that way and this way and and like this. Making a what is that? A hexagon kind of shape. Alright? And so you don't have to put all of them in. You don't have to put them in that dark. That was pretty dark. I'm going to add a little bit more white, lighten some of these up a bit. And I can just put in some of the shapes. I don't have to put in all of them for you to start getting the idea uh, of it's this kind of chicken wire in the background. So I'm just making little, little lines.
and what your your bird's going to cover up a whole lot of it anyway so just keep making those sort of octagon shapes They have to line up, but not really. And my color changed, and I kind of like that, too. So just, you know, just go till you have a few impressions. This is not a realistic bird. Something like that. There's uh, to, to something that has uh, six sides, that means six sticks, right? This is the shape. It's real wide like this. It's real wide like this. Each of them are the same length. Okay, so you have one here, one here, one across the top, one here, one here, one across the bottom. They're big. Your shape should be this wide, two to three inches across. You're doing good. You're making a whole one. Don't ever make a whole one. I'm going to put the head right there. You know, okay, cover yeah. <laughs> Don't ever make a whole one. Just break it up to where it looks like. There you go. I like yours. You're doing very good. That's a nice random look. Yeah. Maybe bring, you know, something over here, you know, on a couple of them or something. But, you know, that gives the, uh, imp you know, completes that shape. You know, every once in a while, just so our eye goes, oh, I got it. This chicken wire. Of course, you got to be a farm girl. <laughs> yeah? Whereabouts in Kentucky? Whereabouts is that? <laughs> no, but I, 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 I my, all of, uh, uh, I, I was born in Ohio, but all, my parents and everything were from Tennessee, and he was looking for work after the war, and we were right on the West Virginia, uh, Tennessee border, so about the same, same area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. How are we doing? What happened? They're, too they're what? They were too long. They, they oh, so you're going to put some bigger ones on? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't like this. I don't like this. Let me see if I can get you started. Would that be would that be That'd good? Be All right. So <laughs> sometimes we do experience failure to launch, you know? So <laughs> you, you just got to sometimes push people out of the plane, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. Of course, there's not going to be a whole lot showing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think everybody's just about accomplished what they 
wanted to accomplish. So let's just uh, uh, think about this here for a minute. I'm, I'm going to introduce uh, one of these plates that are at the bottom of your plate. See these plates right here? At the bottom of your plates, take one out. And look at him. You see that? Okay, now we'll move it to the right so you can see. See, there's some white there. When I go back to where it goes, it's like from here all the way to here, which is halfway. We've got a round shape, do we not? All right, now watch. I'm going to take that round shape. I'm going to set it right there. All right. Now, don't get it up high. You got to stay down low with your round shape. I'm going to set it right there. Then I'm going to just take my brush. And uh, the little one. And from right there. I'm just going to make that that cheater right there. It doesn't matter. Whatever dark color. Uh mine's too mine's lower than it is in this painting, you know. It shouldn't be. I just got it a little too low. Doesn't really matter. No, you're just going halfway, just like this. This half. So we've got basically that shape on there. I'm going to uh, pick up some, some green in my brush and a little bit of blue and maybe a little bit of brown. I'm trying not to get anything that's a specific color. I just want to make a color. I'm going to go over here, and this is the, it, let's look at the circle again. Okay. Move this away. Do you see where it is on the bird? right at where his back would be almost, all right? So if you go, if you say that's the circle right there, and you take and pull this out, you're about right there. So just make a mark at about that place right there. And now I want you to make this shape right here now watch I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna do this something like that The purpose of that, we're just trying to, we're, we're not even making anything per se. We, what we're going to do is we're going to paint this white over the edge of this, but I don't want there to be big blocks of color. So here's what we're going to do. I'm now going to pick up the green and the blue and brown. And I'm using the fan brush, I'm sorry. And I'm even going to put a little red in there. So that makes a color that is almost black. Then I'm going to go 
back into these shapes and start separating them from the other color, leaving a more distinct line. Then just take my brush Watch how I'm, 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 watch how I'm using the end of it. Can you see it on the big screen? I'm just, maybe this is a good uh, point, Randy, to see if this other camera is effective. I don't know if you can see it on that side on the other screen. Any better? You be the judge. I can't see it all that well myself. So I'm picking up um, reds and putting it right in there with that other color and it makes it kind of a maroon color. I'm going to take the edge of this and go around here like this just to kind of make it look a little feathery. I want to try to break that edge up. So just bring this on out, just like we're completing this round circle until we get to a point that is about like that. So I'm bringing that color on around. Again, I'm picking up other colors. This is a red that I picked up. And by picking up red, it makes it purple. Does everybody basically have that shape? Should I take a look around? Okay. Uh, yeah, at some point, but let's okay. not do it now because we want it to be dry. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a that's an Aryan problem, you know. This um, this shape here is not contained in the circle so much, so this needs to come all the way out, and this. Yeah, this, you need to leave yourself more room here at the bottom. Longer pieces coming out. But this is going to come out further. But you're okay. Just keep doing it. You're okay. Because all of this will come together. We're going to overpaint one color over on top of the other one anyway. So it's going to be fine. Look here. Here's how I do it. Okay. Here's how I do it. Watch watch here. I've got that color in my brush. Now I need some more of it, but I want to do a color change. I got I put the red right like that and I go like this. <laughs> and I pick up that color and I go right back in wherever I want. And I leave those purples in there because I like them. They're nice purples. <laughs> You got to just kind of and not worry about so much what you mix on your palette is what you see here. Okay. Now that'll let you do it another time. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Don't get stressed. <laughs> <sighs> Stress. 
Okay. Okay. All right, we're doing good. You can get, you can come all the way to the bottom of this line. You don't have to okay. stay away from it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, this stroke here, this one here, how far am I from the edge of the canvas? Yeah, the length of a that finger right there? Yeah. Yeah. So I I'm I'm about that far away. Make sure you've gotten over here. You yeah, you gotta get over here. Yeah. That means you got to remember this is outside of your circle. See your circles here. This is outside of your circle there. Now, I want to look at something else also. I'm going to put my hand right here at the top. My hand may be a little wider than yours. It may not be. It just all depends. Hands are very different on different people. Well, not the right and the left. They usually match as a pair. Yeah. About that much. I'm coming over about that much. You see where if I have my whole hand where I'm at, put my whole hand right there. So I'm going to make a mark right there underneath my hand. So again, what's the color? Well, I've got brown, I've got green, I've got blue, and I've got red. And I've got them all put together at different points. I'm going to take my brush. I'm not trying to make it look feathery. I'm doing it like it were a straight line almost. And I'm going to go like this. You see, I'm getting close to the center of the painting. Here's about where the center of the painting is. About right here. But I'm getting close to the center of the painting, and that's where the rooster's tail sticks up. So I've got that. Now I can go in here and just put a few this way and that way. I'm following the direction of how the feathers would be. And they can cross over each other. Remember, this bird doesn't have to look a certain specific way with his feathers. Up oh, there's some red. Where'd that come from? I did that, you know, on purpose, right? So just work at putting those reds, if you like them, blues, if you like them, in there. How's that looking? Look good to you? All right, I'm going to walk around and see what we got here. I like what you're doing. We're going to have to, you're going to, you, yeah, you're going to have to get some, you're going to, yeah, because see, here you're going to have to still be going up, you know, for this to go right. You're doing good. You are. You're doing good. So you like the red? All right. So let's see. So just pick up some red color all by itself. It's 
See, and you can change the color and lay it on top. Wherever you want. Well, you're the one. You got one nice looking tail. <laughs> I mean, somebody has to hear that at night, right? <laughs> that's that's problem. Yeah. So, uh, for, first off, let's move that back so that this can go up so that these shapes can come out further. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can still uh, change. I'm going to do some stroke changes to this. We can with the small brush also. You don't have to do the whole thing with the fan. That looks good. It's very, uh, it is very feathery. You've accomplished very feathery. So you've got a pretty nice looking tail too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like this. Let, okay. Let, yeah. Let's fill some of this up because this down here would be more, you know, thicker. All right, because we've got to get it thicker right down there. But I like this other structure you've got going. That's very good. Okay, that's a nice-looking bird there. Yeah. All right. You, um, we'll, we'll work on it with the other brush, but you could have a, a couple of other things. It's not so. It, it's not scary, and we're going to use other brushes. We're no, right now. Let's just leave it alone. We're gonna. This is uh, kind of what you might call blocking. You know, you've got to kind of get the shape in there, and then we start modifying it further. All right. So let's put this brush in the water. And so right now we've used a um, filbert. Um, which is a, a number 10, and we've used a fan brush, and we've used a script liner, and now we're going to use what is called a round. And this is a, um, a number six round. It has a round end on it, um, and it'll allow you to create a round object very easy. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to pick up white with this brush, just white. And you see where the bird is here from the top of his tail feathers over. See, this is where that line is. Let me put this in here just so you see where this line is. I painted some white down there just so you can see. This is where that is right there. All right. So now where his head is, is higher. The top of his head is higher than his tail. So we've got to go up here to higher than the tail. So wherever this is, we've got to go up a little higher. So let's do it this way. I'm going to take uh, my big brush just so you can see it. And you can visualize it on yours, but I, I want you to see what I'm looking at. The top of his head right here, this white area there, is higher than that handle. It's got to be up there. So if I go over here, then I'm going to put the head right there, that white in the head. It's got to be higher than that. Now, after that, I'm just going to come down like this over to the saddle. This is the saddle. Over to the saddle. And then on the other side, 
I'm going to go down like that, and I'm going to paint everything in between right now. I'm just going to paint it white. Just paint it white, just so we start seeing where it's at. And that way we can start looking at our bird and start seeing the shape of the bird quasi-finished. If you can't get down into all of your shapes, it doesn't matter. Just get just get some color going that direction. Don't worry about whether or not you fill everything up. We're going to paint other colors over it as soon as it dries. Here also, this shape here, I'm making it rounder mine because I want him to look stronger now he's more robust don't you think well it's kind of hard to be a rooster I, I will tell you and not be a man you know so you'll have to come to grips with the fact that this isn't a hen you came in to paint a guy, a guy chicken. So, shall I come around and see how you're doing? We're doing it. Yeah, I like it. Maybe increase the this shape just a little bit more. So that it does more like that as it comes down. You're okay. You're okay. And and don't worry about don't worry about whether or not you get it all covered. Just kind of make that do that. Then let's move this over a little bit. We'll just make that dirty for right now, just so that we start getting a different shape going. All right? No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. And matter of fact, if when we develop his tail feathers a little bit more, he will look less fat. You know, it's giving it giving it's a relationship. Okay? But while I'm standing here, let me see if I can do something for you. Well, okay, go ahead and let that um, happen. Okay. And as soon as that dries, put some more on top of it. Okay. All right. Shorten this to about right there and make his neck go up a little higher there give him a little bit more girth he's a little skinny right here if he's puffy do you know what I mean you you yeah don't yeah you don't have to do it all at once <laughs> you know I mean you know what I mean by just one bold thing but just kind of sketch it in there but it's a it's a good shape okay how are we doing here I I'd like to see this shape here change and become more this shape. Okay. Uh uh. Well, he, he he's fat down here. You got to make him fat. You know there, or it doesn't. Or it doesn't work. Yeah, I was wondering about that. That's why I wanted to 
Yeah. Okay. There you go. I think your neck's a little skinny too. You got a skinny neck bird. Fatten him up. You know, I mean, you don't, you aren't supposed to eat uh, a rooster, but, you know, it still is a bigger bird than the hen is, usually. Let's get it out here. I think you'll like it better there. How are we doing over here? Oh, look at you. You got the head in the right place and everything. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's a good night when you get your head in the right place. Is that... Yeah, <laughs> I've had those nights. All right. So uh, let's, uh, um, we, we, we still are going to modify the color. You see here the light colors here, but we're not going to do it now because this is still wet on this side on my paint. And being that it's wet, I don't want to, I want to know that the color I'm laying down is the color I'm going to get. I don't want it to be blurred in with the other colors so that when I put some light colors on there, they'll pop a little bit better. But um, in here, what color is this? Well, how many different colors are there? I mean, if you look at it, it's just, you know, it, it's gold. There's some light blue. There's some... There's a little bit of brown. There's some black streaks. You know, your, your, uh, your edges here, you see here along this line, you know, where it almost, you know, it's irregular because the feathers are going different directions. We have a tendency to make everything perfect on our lines when in nature they don't necessarily always do that. So... Let's put some color in here. I'm going to use the uh, uh, brown brush, the red brush, if I can find mine. Does somebody out there have two of them? I'll bet you they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, because I, I laid it down. So these colors aren't really yellow in there. So how do you achieve them? I'm taking a little bit of brown. And I'm going to put a clean plate so that you can see it better. Be able to see the color better. So I'm taking a little bit of brown. And when I add yellow to it, it becomes almost an orange. You see that? See how it changes? Add, add, some, add some yellow to your brown. Just kind of play with it and see how far you can bring one edge out. Now, if I touch the white and bring it back there, you see how it gives it a, a soft tone? That's kind of what I'm looking for. It's co called like yellow oxide, raw sienna. You could use in place of this color, but you can make it. Just make it. So we made up that color. And I'm going to just go in here and start putting some of that in, in not any perfect place, just different places here. Just making sure that they go with the shape of the bird. Don't, don't, don't go different shapes just follow them into some of these shapes bring that and just kind of work it around you're trying to make it have the illusion of feathers or I wouldn't call this exactly an impressionistic painting but the impression 
of feathers. I'm taking just a tiny little bit of blue. It's going to make a kind of a blue, green, gray color here. I'm going to go back in and put a few lines of that in there. Just modify that ever so much. Just little increments. You just want it to show a little color here and there. Just work that down. I, I, my brush is barely touching the surface. Just work those colors along. Maybe pick up some white. Go back in and put some white on top of some of what you did. Mute some of it, not all of it. So it looks like it's a background sort of thing. Go back, pick up you know, some browns again and put some in there, just gray. Here's a red brown. Just gradually change some things. Does it have to be a perfect color? No. It's just in the family if we stay with these colors, nothing hardly won't work. So we're still still staying with the same colors we used everywhere else. I'm picking up a little bit of white. Now starting to add little white here and there. I'm going to bring down a couple maybe lines by themselves. A little bit more detail on the edge. So it just kind of adds a little to the looseness of it. Don't want it to be tight. See how I've created just this loose feathering here. Just kind of work that in. Again, put it on put it on top of your color. It'll mute some of it down. It'll still be there. Okay, how are we doing? Are we getting there? You think you're done? All right, well, I, I, that must mean you like what you've done. Right, so you want to leave it alone. And that's okay. So let me come around and see how y'all doing. I like your flowing, your flowiness. You got good flowiness. But let me show you some white added to that. Okay. So you could come down. I could touch just the end. Mm -hmm. You see how it'll add a lighterness. Mm -hmm. I can take just little bitty streaks and put the white streak back in just like it I put in the other streaks so that it adds a white feather concept to it all right where's your white let's see if we can't 
yeah, make some, you, your strokes are just large, um, and we can shorten some of them up. By just taking some white, and when I hit some of this other, you see it's pulling them so that that color is not staying in the same place. What do you think? You like that? Yeah. I can sit on your lap. Is that what you're? <laughs> <laughs> so you can take the look. Look at the end of the brush, goes down, and then you see I'm just barely touching at the end of the stroke. So I can do the same thing anywhere. You know, just by. I think it looks pretty good. All right. Well, it looks like the bird is the word. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> the bird is the word. Let's uh, see if we can. Uh, now, this you you mm, you may need to do with your smaller brush, okay. but I'm going to show you All what right. to do. Okay. So I'm going to take um, quite a bit of paint. Because I want it to stay there. I'm putting it on the end of my brush as a glob. Okay. And then I'm going to go down out here at these edges. You see how I can make them do mm -hmm. different things by using the end. So you start looking at the ends of things. What's that? Yeah, so <laughs> uh, of course, yeah, it's live streaming. Yeah. <laughs> no, your your bottom is feathery enough. <laughs> oh, you mean on your chicken? <laughs> yeah, probably so. Probably so. Get, load your brush. Lo lo no, no. <laughs> load your brush, and that way the end of it will stay together. See right there, it splits apart. So if you do this, see, it'll, st it'll stay together anywhere you want it. Good, I like that. I like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're looking good. Okay. I like that too. Let me show you something you can do on the ends. If you like. White, 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 white. Who's got some white? Kinda out of it. You know? You been drinking tonight? <laughs> when you start getting kinda out of it, you know? <laughs> Just put some there anywhere. That's good. I'll get you some more in a minute. Okay. So I, you see how loaded my brush is? Gobs of paint. Okay. So I go down here to the end, holding my brush almost at a 90. Yeah, I mean, to, to the thing. And... You can turn it, and that's what makes it. There. Yeah? Well, it works that way sometimes. How are we doing? Over here? Got it? You're done. Okay. All right. So let's put... Um, uh, Let's put a, some head to this, okay? So I'm going to pick up my little blue brush. 
the little blue brush and I'm gonna put it in red and pick up just red I'm gonna tone that red just a little bit put a little bit of yellow in it I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in it and a little bit of brown because I don't want it to look like it's magenta out of a printer okay so I'm going to go up above here. Now, right here, it, the, he's got a comb. Can I ask you how many uh, points there are on a comb? I don't know. You know, it. You know, I don't know. I, I imagine if you were a bird person, it might offend you, but I don't have any idea. It's the impression of is what the comb is looking like. So I'm going to go up here and just start by starting something outside his head that goes, that I start making some marks to start establishing the shape. You see how this is kind of almost straight up and down. So I'm going to go out here like this. And it starts like that. How long is it? Well, it's it's uh it's pretty long. You know, you've got two inches here at least. Then it starts coming down. And he's going to look a little funny for a minute. Because we haven't really established where his head is. So now, after I've gone down, you see these are, are parallel now. You see them? This one where I started, out here on this side, and I'm down in the front to, I'm at a parallel place, somewhere in that same range. I'm going to drop below that and start his waddle. It's kind of like his red beard. This guy's like Red Beard the Pirate or something. And it just, again, a waddle, I'm sure, has a very specific shape. I'm not trying to achieve that. I'm trying to give an indication that that is a waddle. It's kind of like a beard, don't you think, on, on a red-headed guy? All right. So let me come around and see what you what you did. That'll work. That'll work. Let's get some height. You're you need to be up here. Okay, with these uh shapes. And they're distinctive at that point. So these shapes that you're putting out here to the side have to be more distinct. Well, we'll put it back. We'll put it. Yeah, I, I was leaving it uh, white in there, but we'll, I mean, it's just. It's a, 
we're going to use white back in the face, but we can get the dark in there and then put the light in and again. You can go up higher even though that's where the painting ended. Uh -huh. And you can also go down lower. Well, I want to tell you something. <laughs> Every, everybody has a different looking bird, okay? Really? But your bird right now would be the conehead. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a little, t little tiny hat on his head. You know, it's just like got this little tiny hat sitting on top of his big head. Okay, let's see if we can't make it bigger. Okay. So let's get this out here. And let's get this up here. Cause we've got to get, you know, I mean, he's got a, he's he's got <laughs> he's sporting a comb. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to yeah. And this got to come down more. Okay. We may even have to like that. We'll bring some white in there later. You're you're doing good. The shape is good. You just need to enlarge it. Okay. And and these are not feathers. So these are more specific shapes. So you see how I'm using my brush to get spe specificity on the end? There you go. Don't know where to go with it. Well, after we get down here, then we're going to go down here. Somewhere like that. All right. All right. Well, we're not done with the beard, the bird yet. We're not done. Well, let's get. Wait just a second, and I'll, I'll be right there. Let's do this first, okay? I want you to put something right here in the center of all of this that his eye is going to be in. You see that? Go ahead. Put, put, put some red right there. That's where this is right there, right in the center of all of this. Okay? We're going to, that's going to be in the center. And we're going to do this. And his beak is going to come out of here. And I'm going to make some black by taking my dark green and my red and mixing it together. And we'll put just a little bit of blue in it and it'll make it black so I'm gonna take that shape now now watch his beak so from right there I'm gonna go with his beak out like that and then up like this Now I'm going to take that same dark color, connect it to his beak, and bring that dark color in like this. Go ahead and go ahead and bring it in. We're going to we're going to set everything on top of this. The white will sit on top. I mix green with it. Uh, I mix green with my red, and it started getting black. <laughs> mm. Well, let's get the let's get your basic shape in here first. 
So we got to get out there with your waddle. So that's your basic waddle. I'm not going to finish your ends for you. Let's get fewer of these. Well, and they're going all different directions. They, yeah, they all need to be going like this. I think that's a better hairdo. Put red in here, and then when we overpaint the white in there and get the beak in there, it'll work. So your beak's going to go right here. It'll be right here. Somewhere in there. With the dark? Well, just, well, just, okay, well, just, do, er, everything gets turned red in here. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this out. His waddle a little bit longer. Okay. And his beak will go about right there. How are we doing here? Not good. You just beat, you like to beat yourself up though, don't you? Huh? You know, let me see if I can't get you a bigger paintbrush. You know, so if you're going to hit yourself, you can, you know, do a good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now it just is dark as what you're looking to achieve. Yeah, you want to bring it in, in close all around his face. You want he wants to have dark around his face so that when we put a lighter eye in there, we'll be able to find it. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for now. I'm not particularly concerned with uh, changing it in any way right now. We'll worry about that when all of this dries. You remember down here earlier we had colors that we hadn't put in? Leave his uh, face alone. Let that dry. Pick up your red brush. Let's make some of these other colors and start sticking them in and at the same time get his legs put in and some darker shadows uh, in, in the bottom of the painting. But we'll start by putting these lighter colors in. What are they? Well, you got... Uh, for sure, we've got uh, green and we've got brown. Always when you're using phthalo green, you're going to have to put brown or something in it. Uh, or, or you're going to have turquoise. I mean, flat out and out turquoise. So you want to modify that just a little bit. Then I'm going to go in here and watch what I'm doing with the brush now. I'm going to just take some and put a mark. It doesn't have to come the whole way. It can. And you're just putting color in on what would be the high parts of things. Try to create some secondary look. You see, I'm just kind of giving it a bit of a feather look to it by the shape that it takes.
I can highlight any line like this one here, bring that over and it make it go a direction just by a couple small strokes. I can change the shape of anything. I'm going to go down here, put a couple that lets it start coming this way. But I'm going to also pick up that red. I've got red in my brush. It's going to make a purple. And I'm going to bring that purple underneath some of these and add some color. Elongate maybe a couple of them. Bring some color in, maybe in some different places. See, I'm putting some purple down here, bringing some lighter colors in. What do you think? You like that color there? Try some blue. There's a blue feather. A little blue back behind there. So along this edge, this maybe starts looking like it's too uniform also. So you can add some color in here. This is, uh, I created a, I'm creating a different color than I used in the first painting, but this is a lighter purple. And I, I can take that in and just do some coloring if I want. You add a little here and there. You see how this other purple, this is why I was saying, what color do you like your house? This is where you start making the painting yours is by how you use your other colors to add feathering. So maybe you like some blues. I'm not saying you need to follow me on this. I'm just saying that you can do any color combination that you want. It does not have to be just what you've been looking at for it to work. See how many different colors I added there? There's purples and lavenders and I like this, what you did here. Yeah. These, uh, this is, let me show you some, this is something out here in this range. I think this would look interesting. See how it adds a lighter color? I think you're better off if you'll use the red brush instead of the little blue one to do the feathering because you're going to get tedious with it. And also you need to load it up. You got to have lots of paint. When you have lots of paint on your brush, you can either use the end and get a thin line or press down on it and get a thick line without changing brushes.
See how that changes it? You can go any color, any time. Go right back to the, you know, because they're all in the same, in the same group together. Yeah, yeah, it, um, yeah, right there. It wouldn't have to be red, red. Let's just put that in there, whatever that is. Let's try some green in there. There we go. And we'll put his eye on top of that after we get some other shape back in there. Okay, let's work on so, some legs. Um, how, how did we go about making uh, a charcoal? You remember? I see you do remember. You're just unwilling to share that information with anyone around you. I can understand that when you're the only one that knows the answer. You know, just keep it to yourself. Okay, so I'm going to mix a gob of blue with a gob of brown, and it's going to give me a dark charcoal color. And if it's a little too blue for you, add a little bit of brown. If it's a little bit too brown for you, add a little bit of blue. I mean, it's right in the middle is sort of a charcoal color. So I've got my charcoal. This uh, step that he's taking, where his foot is, got to remember, wherever that is has to support his weight, right? So don't move it way out here. To the side it's got to be where underneath him okay to support his weight so we've got to go at least here you see that ain't right there so from wherever that saddle is in his back just bring a couple bring it down just a little bit further and then do the leg just at an angle like this Okay, I got that a little wider than I wanted it. But we will change that by making it look thinner with this line here. Okay, so I've put one there. Now I'm going to do this with the foot I'm not uh, I've got it right at the bottom I've got lower than I should have so I'm not going to display everything with his feet I'm going to come up here put his dropped foot so it looks like he's lifting his foot underneath him Then right above where this is, I'm going to lighten this a little bit so it's darker underneath it. So you can see his foot coming up underneath there. How many fingers does a rooster have? He has some going this way and some going that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think there's, uh, I, I think there's uh, um, three and then a spur. Three and a spur. There may be four and a spur. I don't know. I am not a, uh, yeah. Well, again, see, I uh, mine are not represented completely. You know, so... I don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. 
It's nice and black. I like your yeah. color. Yeah. Yeah. Are you talking about you put it over and down? Or how does it stick down? Like it's not down? That's just like it, yeah, sticking down. Like he's lifting his hand. Like the other one on? No, no, no. I think I, I'd do it just like that. Okay. Like it's rolled down? Yeah. And then this right here? Yeah. And, and feet always do this on there. They go out like that. Yeah. And the spur would be here. This way. But we're going to darken everything around it anyway. Because we've got to put the shadows back in the bottom. This is... <laughs> this is... Uh, can I... I <laughs> well, you can make that bigger. Well, <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. You know what? Okay. So now these are long. Let's take this here. See, it's like he's doing, he's picking his foot up. So it's doing this. Yeah? All right. That's that's good. I like the, the, you, the little bit thicker leg right here wouldn't help. I mean, wouldn't hurt most of them. A little bit thicker right there. Don't get to don't get your legs so skinny that you can't. I mean, look at the size of your bird. You're trying to support with them little skinny legs. Well, that's all right. That works. Okay, and this one works too. You got a little bit few. I, got, I think you got a few too many toes, but oh we can yeah. we can correct that. Yeah, it's gonna be one, two, three, and a spur. But we're going to put all dark in the bottom anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So now here in the bottom, sit, put that brush. We're going to go back to the big brush that we started with. Back to the big brush. Because we're not going to be able to simulate any of the same kind of strokes if we're not using the big brush. And we want it to look similar so it's in shadow down here so we want darker colors down here well what are you going to do pick up some brown put a little bit of blue in it you know to darken your brown up don't put any white in it just brown and blue darken that and then go in here and just add some shadow down here in the bottom the more blue you have in it, the darker the shadow will get. See how just putting that color in there, you're not trying to reproduce a any particular shape. We, we haven't defined where the light is totally anyway. Uh, so l th it's just a shadow going in here, darker in the bottom. And I think that works. That way, if you don't like your feet, obscure them. Now, Let me see how you did with the, uh, obscuring the bottom, and then we'll work on putting some white in the, up here in the, in the top to modify this, and then we'll put his eye in there. What do you say? Everybody got a dark area right here in the center? Because you're going to have to have it later. Dark area right there in the center. No, no, absolutely not. 
Oh, well, you still should be uh, there. Yours is really dark. Yours is really dark. So when that happens, <laughs> so when that happens, stop. Quit putting so much on. And let's go back to brown. Okay, let's go back and see if we can lighten some of that up a bit. Yeah, that got really dark. <laughs> You're the one that makes it stop. You know that, right? <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. It, it just on is on autopilot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put that in there. Let's see what we're doing. Just kind of modify that okay. there so it's not quite so dark. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it just got it just got darker, 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 didn't it? Yeah. It's not messed up. Um, here, ho ho hold this. What's happening down here? Um, you can and or you can paint over them again. If you don't like your feet, just go. Well, uh, I obscured it more by adding color right up to the bottom of the feet and then you can put the foot shape back so go ahead and do that and take your dark color and put on top of it and it'll be fine you know just wait till that dries then change that to whatever you want and it'll look the rest of it'll look kind of like it was supposed to be there She got pretty feet. Well, let it wait that dries, and I'll come back around. Let's get the face in. Let's get the face in. All right? Face, face, face. So we've got a dark spot right here, right? A dark spot right there. I'm going to take gray. And it's a light gray. And it can be any form of gray. Uh, it doesn't doesn't have to speak to you know, on one level or the, the other. Just just that it's in the gray range. Now I'm doing two of these brackets like this. What are these things called? And you put them around parentheses? parentheses? Mm -hmm. Not these. Oh, yeah, yeah. So these two here. Now, if, uh, if they're down here, it looks like an oblong shape, right? But as I bring these close up here, this shape in between starts looking round, okay? We're going to make the eye by just putting one of those shapes on either side 
of a dark area. You see that? If you, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you could see it on the screen or not. I'm going to do it whiter than, I don't want you to do it this white, but I'm going to do it whiter so you can see it. You see it on the screen? Uh, now, right in between these two, I'm going to put a little dot right here, and that is the dot of light that his eye reflects. Okay? Now, I'm going to take and change the way his sh shape of this white is on his head. So I'm going to take this brush here, and I'm going to go up from here and bring some of this white down here over this so that it's got more room for his head. Now I'm going to bring that little bit of gray around his mouth here. And right there, up, we'll put a little bit along that edge to modify it just a little bit. We'll leave him right like that. That's a strange angle that changes the whole painting. But at any rate, um, I, um, I, I'm just putting brown and blue and white together. Always these, these colors. Um, Randy, can you bring a close-up of this bird right here, his face, Randy. There you go. See it? Now it's got a uh, <coughs> still got just a little bit of a distorted angle um, because of the way it is, so it makes it look skinnier than what it actually is. Yeah. But at any rate, you can see it right there, I think. See how... You can bring it up larger right there. There you go. Right there. I think you can see right there. Maybe not quite as much light, but it gives the shape a better look at the shape at that point. Mm hmm Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah, make it, yeah, make it, uh, make it, you know, longer, rounder at the bottom. Has a scarf on.
Can you make it bigger again, Randy? They're they they're going. I don't want to see you. I want to see. Yeah, of course you did. I'm in the process of actually having it incorporated into the website when you pay. Really? It's so there'll be a double click. Do you know what I mean? You have you know how you you, you know you have to check the box that says um I understand the the policy of uh uh pay within 7 days. I know, I know. Yeah. And No, I'm, I, I wouldn't anyway. But the same way that that works, it just gives people the idea that, oh, okay, this is serious. Yeah. I would never, I, I never enforce it anyway. If somebody says, I couldn't make it, I go, okay, you know, here's, here's your money. <laughs> you know. All right. How are we doing? Let's see if we can't make this lighter. Okay, so let's get this lighter. Where is it? And then we'll put a little dot right there. Okay. Yeah, let's let's uh let's see if we can open his mouth. Want to? Mm -hmm. Um that better mm -hmm. I want to change one other thing for you where's your red oh there it is right at the end of the thing I think his his swoop back hair mm -hmm. will be better suited if it goes out <laughs> Your eye is too far away. Well, okay. Now before you before you do that before you do no wait 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 before you do that let's make where's your red? All right, let's do something different. Let's go over here and make this part bigger and this part bigger now does that make it look more like it's in the center yes well that is true his mouth is supposed to be below his eye how do you yeah, yeah. So what you would, yeah, what you would do is to start with. Don't try to match the color. Okay. Just go in here with white. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I hit the. I hit the I hit the red right at the I'm fired? Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. Hey, did we get it? Did we get Rudy in the picture anywhere? You got to have Rudy in the picture somewhere. Huh? Which camera? We we got Rudy. Oh, there's Rudy. There's Rudy. He's painting with us tonight. He hadn't painted with us since we've been here. Good. Good. I like what you've done here. What 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 is it that's stressing you? Let me see your brush. Water. Okay. Paper towel. I think that's all you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to put that two circles around it. How are we doing? Everybody done it? You want to sign them? Huh? Well, it's pretty well done, uh, you know. It's pretty well done. Well done? You like them well done? You like them a little on the medium rare side. So can I show you in uh, your picture in a frame? May I? Oh, yeah, you're you're not beaked yet. You're not beaked. May I? It looks pretty good. I mean, you know, could it be different? Yeah, you know, yeah. everybody's is always that way, including mine. You know. Yeah. All right. What's the name? Ann. Check it out, Ann. Let's see here. I'm trying to get face this one. Is this the one we're looking at. There. Here's. But then she can't see it. There we go. How about if I do it over here? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's good when you get a you get a compliment like that. I like her tail. You know, I mean that's a that's a that's a good one. All right. May I? I love this rooster you've done. You were all stressed about your rooster. He's just a great big old bold guy, and it works. And your name? Ashley. Here you go, Ashley. Isn't that cool? Huh? Yeah. Well, th you know, that's why they sell frames, though. I mean, you know, let's face facts. I mean, it's, you know, I, I joke about it being a magic frame, but all frames are magic. And your name again, Pam. Pam. All right, let's see if we can go down here. Pam. Here we go, Pam. Is that good? Let's see. There it is on the on the screen. On the jumbotron or something. All right. All right. And I, 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 it's Lee, Lee, ah, Lee, ah. Okay, here's Lee, ah. 
Let's see, where are we? There, there you're on the jumbo screen. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Who didn't we get a shot at? You were still, um, can I show yours yet? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Took you a long time to paint it. What's the name? Yours. Alex. Here we go, Alex. There we are. Ah, uh, there you go. You look good. Yeah. All right. And waddle. The waddle? Oh, the feathers? It, we didn't get yours, did we? Huh? And what's the name, Joan? Joni. Here's Joni. Check it out, Joni. Happy birthday. Is your birthday? Last Saturday? And you're 29, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to sing a copyrighted happy birthday song to you. I'll probably not. So I guess I won't be able to. <laughs> How about some uh, sign them? Get your, get your name on there. The beauty of these always is, is that when you're looking at them, you look at them and you go, I wish I'd have done this. I wish I'd have done that and everything. When somebody else looks at it, they go, oh, my God, you did that? You know, and it, it loses all of its uh, criticisms that we self-criticize our, ourselves all the time. Mm-hmm. didn't register to you it looks good though you did good you did good i here here's something else you can do though that will improve him even more watch this i think he looks better now he can still have longer but you know but i think his head looked like it was going inward there you know what i mean towards the point yeah i like what everybody did do you like the venue tell me because those of you that have painted with me before what do you think do you like the way that you can see everything up here yeah well good so let people know. And I like your signature there. It looks very good. Good placement, too. Sometimes people bury their signature. Don't. Put it out there. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, but it won't matter. Yeah. All right. So um, I don't know where my camera is. Uh, to take a group picture. I, I'm assuming that it was left here somewhere. <laughs>